I haven't had many emotional swings like that in my whole life, you know, as far as anything on or off the field. So, yeah, to go from thinking you've got it in the bag to thinking you just blew it and you're going to have to go play tomorrow and then coming back and, and taking the lead again. On a three-run home run, I actually was supposed to bunt the first pitch and I took it for a strike. I didn't think it was a strike, but um, then I kind of just slid my hand end up the bat, you know, try to say, you know, I, I might be bunting again. So they, and uh, he ended up throwing me a fastball on the inner part of the plate, you know, thinking I was going to bunt, and uh, just, you know, got luckily got a hold of it. There's such a swings of emotion, as everybody said, from you know, from his first home run to going ahead that you, you know you think you're going to the fact that you could have to play another game possibly, and I can't believe that happened. I turned around to Coach Forbes, and you know, I was pretty fired up, and I told him we're not going to lose this game. And he's like, well, go do it, you know, just that kind of thing. So you know, I, I had the confidence going up to that at bat. Here's the 0-1 to Flack. High and deep into right field. Going back is Mathis at the wall. Chad Flack just sent Carolina to Omaha. Me and Rob were at the end of the dugout, and I kind of, I guess I grabbed on his jersey, and we kind of like jumped and just kept jumping. And when that ball was out, when it left the field, like I, we were pretty much already in the batter circle waiting for him. I saw the guy get against the wall and jump up, and I was like, oh, no, please, no. And I finally saw it fall on the other side. And, I really can't tell you what it felt like, you know, around the bases. I don't remember. The only thing I do remember is rounding third and, you know, seeing my teammates right there. And that, that's something that will be in my memory forever. To actually knowing that you're that you're going as soon as it cleared the, the fence and knew that that kid didn't catch it was um, it's one of the most uh, incredible, you know, feelings I've had as a, you know, as a coach by, by far. Best feeling you ever feel. I mean, you came and you really can't appreciate anything until you're in a situation like that because everybody's just. I mean, someone can just punch you in the face and just laugh at you. You're just, you could not possibly be in a better mood. That, that's just something that you can only write about really in a, in a fairy tale. And the way going from feeling so high to so low to then just stunned and back on top within just a 10 minute span is just something I know I'll never forget. But I knew as soon as that ball went over the fence, I said, these, these guys are going, they're going to have the time of their life. And we've done something that's going to last, you know, a lifetime for them.